Hey, my name is Rowan Smith, and I want to welcome you to the Training for Trekking podcast. Now, this is the world's very first podcast, which is entirely dedicated to helping you train, prepare, and conquer your upcoming hike, trek, or mountain adventure. So once a week, I'm going to be giving you quality and practical information on the subjects of physical preparation for trekking, dealing with attitude, and nutrition on the trail, so you can know everything you need to be doing to have the best chance of a safe, enjoyable, and successful adventure. So now you know what you're in for, let's get into today's episode. So today I want to talk you through a really simple strategy which will help you understand where you should be putting your focus in your training to best help your actual hiking. So you're not just getting fit, you're not just getting strong, but you're specifically helping yourself as an individual towards your particular hiking goals. Now, today I'm going to use the example of this in my current journey on learning how to surf. Now, for years now, I've been saying I'm going to buy a surfboard and just a couple of months ago for my birthday, uh, my missus, Ali, um, she bought me, you know, bought me an absolutely awesome longboard. And in my youth, I was a big into bodyboarding, so I've got a pretty good idea about what's going on in the water. I've got a pretty good, you know, general knowledge about what to do in the surf. But surfing in itself on an actual surfboard is completely foreign to me. And so getting into this and starting up on this sport and trying to learn all what I need to learn to become halfway competent has been very, very interesting. And after my first few surfs, I realized, look, this is going to be a long-term process and this is going to be a struggle. But I was also very, very aware that there were certain things to do with my body, to do with my fitness, to do with my physical condition which really needed a whole bunch of work to make this process a little bit more enjoyable and much easier. So, for example, I knew within very, very quickly when I was in the surf that as I was paddling along, two things were happening. Number one, I was getting outrageously huffed and puffed, trying to do quick paddling in between waves and trying to get out the back of the surf. Because, you know, the majority of my training over the last few months has, you know, it's all been sort of centered around hiking. I've just been able to go and go and go at a slow pace pace and taking it very, very easy. And when it comes to surfing, things are a little bit different. You know, short bouts of very intense exercise is what we're looking for. And I was cardiovascularly huffing and puffing and heaving my guts out because I was struggling there. So that was the first thing I was like, oh, I really need to work on this. The second area was when I was paddling along, my lats or the big muscles on my back were getting super, super tired very, very quickly. Because again, the majority of my strength training, the majority of my training has been focused on my legs to try and help me get up hills better, to get upstairs better, to be able to last on the trail for a little bit longer. And that was holding me back as well. And then as I moved into the other parts of surfing, there are a couple of things that were getting in my way as well. And as I paddle onto a board, um, as I try to jump up, I was realizing it was getting pretty uncomfortable to actually get up on my board, mainly because my ankles were pretty tight and my hips were pretty tight. Now, that was because I've been neglecting that type of training for a few months and I've been working from a desk since all the gyms have been closed and they've definitely tightened up quite a bit. And after a couple of surfs, I was like, you know what, those four areas, they're very, very, very particular to me. They're definitely holding me back on my surfing and on this journey and on this enjoyment. And they're things that I really, really need to put some focus into. And that's exactly what I'm going to be doing. You know, putting extra focus into my ankle ankle and hip mobility, doing some higher intensity cardio, making sure I'm hitting my upper body in the gym. And I have no doubt that within a month or two, that's going to pay off significantly when I'm in the surf and when I'm enjoying this activity. And the exact same principle I would highly recommend is you do for your hiking. On your next hike, when you're doing something that's a bit of a struggle um, or that's going to push you significantly, just be really, really aware of what are you actually struggling with. Now, are you struggling going up hills? And specifically, are you getting huffed and puffed or are your legs burning out? Are you struggling on uneven uneven terrain? And specifically, are you struggling to keep your balance? Are you struggling to keep your nerves and your confidence? Are your legs getting super tired when you're going going on the uneven terrain? Are you struggling with a pack? Is it digging into your shoulders? Are you feeling like you've got a sore upper body? Is your back getting sore? Or are you just generally getting tired and huffed and puffed with it on your back? On the downhills, are you getting jelly-legged or are your ankles getting sore or are you struggling to balance, you know, as you're going down and you have to really, really focus and you can't zone out and not concentrate? Really, really have a think about all these areas on the trail and actually think, what do I struggle with? 
What specific areas do I struggle with and what do I need to improve on? And once you figure that out, once you've listed out all these things that you do struggle with, then you can start searching for solutions. And on this podcast, you know, I've probably gone through anything that you may have um, thought about. I've probably gone through it in the past and you can dig up, you know, old episodes of this and see what I've talked through. Or you can come up with your own solutions. And if you're like, you know what, my legs get really tired going up hills, maybe you need to do a bit more strength training. Or if I really struggle um, with my ankles when I'm going down hills, maybe you need to do a bit more stability work on your ankles. Or maybe you're saying, look, my upper body gets really tired when I've got a pack on. Maybe you need to do some more upper body work or purely some more pack work. This is such a valuable exercise for you to actually sit down and spend a bit of time with and really, really identify what areas you do need to work on. Because as much as I give you a lot of information through this podcast, through the Facebook group, through all my other stuff, you really do need to know where you should be applying and what you need to be doing to help your individual situation. Because as much as we all love hiking, we're all very, very different hikers. Now, what may work for one person may not potentially be as valuable for another person. So I highly recommend you go through this. On your next hike, list out all the things you struggle with, all the things that could potentially get a little bit better to help you enjoy and stay comfortable and really, really take in every single step. List them out and then start coming up with solutions. Research the solutions or come onto the Facebook group, ask the question on how to improve this particular thing, and we can go from there. And I highly recommend you go through this now before January when everything starts to get crazy and when everyone gets really motivated. And that way you can know exactly where you want to put your focus on for the months ahead. So if you do need some help with this, as I briefly mentioned just before, and you do want a bit of extra insight into where or how you can improve certain areas on the trail, um, I'd highly recommend you come and join the Training for Hiking and Trekking Facebook group. Now inside, I'm always happy to answer any questions you might have, dive into subjects a little bit deeper, and all of that good stuff. So if you do want to find it, it's the Training for Hiking and Trekking Facebook group. I'll leave a link in the show notes below, but I'd absolutely love to see you there. So I hope you take some information out of this and I hope you do apply it because it can be so, so, so valuable for any hiker, any trekker, any backpacker or any mountaineer to help get the most out of their training and see the best results on the trail. So have a lovely day and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.